earlier this month or late September, I don't have the date in front of me, the Supreme Court declined to take up the case to dismiss the defamation suit against you by Dominion voting systems for over a billion dollars. Why do you believe one of the most conservative Supreme Courts in the last hundred years did not step in on your behalf? They they did not allow the appeal. They were waiting for the appeal. They wanted to the the, the way you're, you're the way you're saying it, you're misconstrued. Am I? The the case we asked to appeal it to appeal the case, and they said no. You're going to have to wait till it runs its course. That's all they said. Yes. We were trying something. There's so many things out of the box here that have been that uh, this. These, this lawfare has not been done in our country since 1798. Remember, these guys sued over 200 people and platforms. It's never been done before, where where it shut up all the media around the country instantly. Okay. So what we we're trying everything, uh, and uh, you know, if they want us to run, which would be normal, you run your case, then you do your appeal. We wanted to appeal right now. We do, we're doing everything our lawyers are doing to get this lawfare behind us so then we can go, hey, you guys, look at it. We have to get rid of these machines and save our country. On the machines, some of All the comments- of the electronic voting machine, including the polling books, the computers. Do you know that Wisconsin has 2 million more people on their on their poll, uh, on their, uh, their, uh, their polling books, their electronic um, uh, database where they pull more, 2 million more people that live in Wisconsin are on, actually on their voter rolls. And you say, how do I know this? I have every state's voter rolls before, during, during, who voted, and then afterwards. I spent a lot of money, over $35 million, trying to get rid of these Mike, machines. Mike, I hate to interrupt you, but that claim about Wisconsin is completely untrue. The number, no, hold not. on, Mike, let me just, I've, no, I'm giving you just, plenty no, of time. You're not, you're, hold you know on, what? Mike, hold on, Mike. I got it from the Wisconsin Secretary of State. You're wrong, Amy. Who are you going to get it from? Two million, you can get them. I did. I got requests out to every single. These are right off the voter rolls. These are their voter rolls, David. They have who's sending you the voter rolls? What? Who's sending you the voter rolls? You get them from the Secretary of State. I got them from every Secretary of State in the country. But you just said you don't trust the Secretary of State. I don't. But they have to give them to you. It's called a FOIA request. You can but anybody. Mike, I have to pay for a lot of them. Alabama, I had to pay forty thousand dollars to get them. Hold on a second, Mike. The number of registered voters on November 1, 2020 in Wisconsin was 3.6 million. No, you need to, David, you're not listening. Okay. The red, there was 2 million more people on these things. There's a thing called Eric too, okay? Those oh, wow. are the red, or the voters that are eligible and they're, they haven't been clean. There was 2 million more in Wisconsin, just Wisconsin alone, 2 million more than, than, than actually can register to vote. So two million, they can pull these names. It's just like every state. Every state has uh, at least 5,000, some up to 50,000 people that voted that don't live in the states. Never happened before in history. But They're hold just- on a second, Mike. I We got to be able to talk sensibly about this. And I think you and I can make some progress. Well, I'm just okay? telling you, I've got all the numbers. But and you're I got jumping from around from one thing to another and citing the very sources that you tell me aren't trustworthy when I cite them. So let, let's no, bring down the, the temperature the just a little bit, states, Mike. Mike, I, hold on, hold on, Mike, hold on. Here's the information I have, okay? The population of Wisconsin is 5.8 million, and there in 2020 were 3.6 million registered voters. That's the information I have. Wh- which piece of data is wrong? Okay, my data came from the state. I don't know Mine what too. you're saying, David. Secretary oh, of really? State. Well, okay, when, the, when you're using numbers that live in Wisconsin, I'm telling you eligible voters. You understand there's two million more on the voter rolls, more than the eligible voters in Wisconsin. Let me make an argument, Mike. You're doing, hold it, David. You're doing the population of Wisconsin. Obviously, anybody under age can't vote. Anybody that's not eligible, they can't vote. You've got to take that off your five million total. Absolutely. And, And you take the voter rolls. And they haven't been clean. I'll give an example. In Alabama, they have over 5,000 people on their voter rolls that are over 110 years old. Mike, hold on a second. Because they haven't been cleaned. Let me add another piece of information. Let me add another piece of information. 5.8 million people live in Wisconsin. 4.5 million are of voting age. 3.6 million are registered. Get get me the numbers for Wisconsin. Oh, boy. 
you know, get him the vote at the road roll numbers. You know, David, you should have told me I can give you the exact numbers because I got them from the states. So my that's where I'm getting mine. them. That's where I'm getting what? them. Huh? I'm getting them from the state. Where'd That's where you I'm get getting yours from? The, the Secretary of State of Wisconsin? Yeah. Or the WEC, the WEC. Huh? Yeah, just tell, just you can yeah, get the get the Wisconsin. I want to know the numbers that was over the registered voters over. It was two million something. Get, get them them numbers. Okay.